Dinops ocellitus, also known as a redfish, is a game fish found in the Atlantic Ocean to the Gulf of Mexico. The most distinguishing mark on the redfish is the black spot near the tail of the fish. Having multiple spots is not uncommon for this fish, but no spots at all is extremely rare. The color of the red drum ranges from a deepish blackish coppery color to nearly silver. Redfish are a fast growing species and reach approximately 11 inches and one pound in the first year. 17 to 22 inches and three and a half pounds in two years and 22 to 24 inches and six to eight pounds in three years. The record red drum is 94 pounds and was caught on the east coast. The current record in Louisiana is 61 pounds caught south of Cocodry, Louisiana in 1992. Today we'll be searching for them in the marshes of Dularge, Louisiana in this episode of Tower Talk TV. Good morning and welcome to this edition of Tower Talk TV. We're down here launching at Jugs Marina. About to go hit the water and see what's going on. We're fortunate to have Coach Showmeyer back on the boat with us back in town this weekend. We're gonna go out do a little searching for some redfish and some shallow water. The water looks like it's down pretty good. We're gonna have sunny conditions with light winds. A cold front just blew in yesterday. I feel like we're right in the transition of winter to spring fish in here. So we're gonna go check out that pattern and see how things are looking. Buckle up for this edition of Tower Talk TV. We just pulled up into this pond here. The wind is not doing what we thought it was, a little bit stronger. So we had to set up and come out of the north and drift. Came into this pond and there was multiple fish right off the bat that were sunbathing. Schulmeyer picked out this little spot. He was right on. We came in here, had uh, he had one right off the bat, but he, uh, he, got, a, he got away. We could have Schulmeyer use the excuse he was fishing with a non-factory rod. That he bought at the local gas station and I'm sure if he finds out I'm telling you guys this he's gonna make me pay so let's keep that as our right secret there, look at look at that big look, school Ooh. Oh, school up, up there real 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 get there oh, shit. oh look at them all right here there's a big ass school in there take all these fucking mother Oh, 
<laughs> well, we ate the little <laughs> curly tail.
close to eight. Crab, chicken boy, bubble plugger. That other one went right past this island. I don't know where he went. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he don't even know he's hooked. We got there, Clint. It's around lunchtime out here. We've been out here fishing for a few hours. Right off the bat, we did really well. We came up on some ponds that had a bunch of fish in them and they were hungry, eating good. 
moved just a little bit and then all of a sudden they weren't so hungry we actually kind of struggled how many fish would you say we we ran across maybe oh probably 30 that we couldn't get to eat yeah ran across about 30 fish that we couldn't get to eat all of a sudden it was like they just had locked jaw so uh switched a lot of different baits different colors tried a lot of different things Clint found one going down the shoreline that was actually feeding, and we got that one to eat. And then all of a sudden, the feeding started picking back up, started catching a bunch. We just kind of came down this long canal here, came around this point right here, and Clint noticed this. Uh, it's what we call LSD. Clint got a hold of some LSD, or Louisiana Swamp Donkey, <laughs> right? <laughs> Did he get a hold of that? Yeah, so. I don't know if I had a hold of him or if he had a hold of me. But, uh, man, that was... Uh, that was one of those things that you expect when you come over here. You're going to see them big boys like that, and then you just got to determine whether or not if you actually want to sight cast to it or not. <laughs> Me, I'm a gamer. If he's got a spot on him, I go after him, so it doesn't matter how big he was. <laughs> which which uh, Louisiana club did you just join there? That was the 40-inch club. Again, two trips to Louisiana, two 40 inches. So uh, I guess I'll just have to keep my, my roll going every trip. How deep of water do you think you're in? We're we're in less than two foot deep. That fish was under the water about that far. So it uh, wasn't too hard to see that one. It looked like a f doormat going across the bottom flashing gold. So I had time to decide whether or not if I wanted to mess with it or not. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's go get us some more. Good job. <laughs> Dead to right. Fish, meet my net. Let's 
see how those pros do where they flip it out and then grab the next one. Or maybe not. Uh oh, uh -oh we're fixing to see some showtime stuff here. <laughs> Only on Tower Talk TV do you see the double up in the net. <laughs> that's, that's why this guy's called Showtime. <laughs> Give it a show. <laughs> that's a show, all right. I'd have been pulling a rod over the, <laughs> over the boat into the water. Thanks for watching. That was the end of day one there. We had a pretty good day. Had a lot of refusals. Had to try a variety of stuff, a lot of different colors. Didn't have a whole lot of water to work with in the beginning. And actually the wind was quite a bit stronger than we were expecting. But we managed, powered through it. Ended up getting some pretty decent fish. Clint joined the 40 pound club. Again. <laughs> Again. I should say 40, 40 plus 40 club, 40 inch club. He made it look like it weighed 40 man. pounds by the way he was trying to hold it for the photos. But uh, anyways, all in all, man, we had a great day. A lot of fun out on the water. Had a great time with Captain Clint Schollmeyer here. Taught me a lot of stuff as usual. Learned some new stuff on the water. Uh, I was running that blue crab uh, bubba clucker today that I just got at the fishing show last week and that thing was money today. Worked out really good for me. I pretty much stuck with that bait. Clint was throwing a variety of stuff, a lot of Caden lures with different colors and what have you. So uh, anyway, stick around. We're gonna go give it another shot tomorrow. We're going in to clean the boat up and go get something to eat.